it's time for another crochet gadget and review but today we're getting all of our crochet gadgets from the Dollar Tree but before we start I'm Little John Yarns I'm pretty much the crochet gadget queen so make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you're always up to date on all of my new crochet gadgets and review so today all of the items that I purchased are from the Dollar Tree the Dollar Tree has come such a long way it's become one of my favorite places to get all of my crochet gadgets or craft gadgets that I'm going to be using so today we're going to go over three products that I bought from there and don't worry I got timestamps below so you can jump through each product easily so we're going to hop right into this review number one first we're going to look at the crafter square crochet hooks yes the Dollar Tree has crochet hooks. I was shocked too. It's only a dollar. It comes in a pack of two. With this pack, I have a four millimeter and a five, uh, four point five millimeter crochet hook. They come in multiple sizes. Let me take it out the pack so you can see it closer. When I first seen it, I'm like, eh, it looks a little flimsy. But for a pack of two for a dollar, what do you expect? So I'm going to take this down to the table so you can see this hook in action. Let's take a look at these crochet hooks up close. To the left, I have my Clover Amore crochet hook and I have my Dollar Tree on the right. Look at the heads of the crochet hook. They are very similar. I like that about this crochet hook. All right, let's go down further down the shaft. This one is a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. It's made of plastic. It's not the sturdiest. All right, and it's pretty thin, but you can always add more to the bottom. Go to the Dollar Tree and get some pencil grips and add up for a more ergonomic feel. All right, let's see this in action now. I wanted to use this on some uh, Caron one pound because I know this is thicker yarn. So I wanted to see if it would snatch up the stitches as I go. Actually like this crochet hook a lot. I didn't think I would and it's pulling up every single stitch easily, not dropping any yarn. Excellent. All right, so as you see, this works pretty well. I'm gonna bring this back to the table so you can see my final review. What can I say, guys? I actually love this crochet hook. You cannot beat the price for a pack of two that only cost a dollar. If you're anything like me and you're constantly losing your crochet hooks, I say buy a whole bunch of these and put them in your craft bag just in case. So on a scale of one to five balls of yarn, I'm gonna give the Crafter Square crochet hook from the Dollar Tree four balls of yarn. Number two. Next, we're going to look at the Premier Just Cotton Yarn. All right, I've noticed this Premier Just Cotton Yarn always showing up in my local Dollar Tree. I've searched online on a Premier website to look for Just Cotton Yarn, and Premier's website does not sell it. It seems like they're only selling it at the Dollar Tree, so which I think is pretty cool. So we're going to look at this yarn right here to see if it's actually worth the price. So I'm going to take this down to the table and show you what this looks like up close. Okay, let's uh, compare Just Cotton and Premier Home together. Let's look at the make of these yarns. They're both made of the exact same thing, 85% cotton, 15% polyester. The only difference is you get a little bit more in this one. They're both a medium four weight yarn. You get 104 yards here and 140 here. So just look at the strands of the yarn. The color make is definitely different. This, the Just Yarn is a lot lighter, but you'll also notice the Just Yarn is a lot thinner than the Premier Home. All right, so let's see how this works up when you're using your crochet hook. Okay, as I'm working with this yarn, this yarn is like super split city, and it is not as bulky as the other yarn. And as I use it, I'm seeing all these gappy spaces, and right now I'm using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook, but I can say this Dollar Tree crochet hook is handling it pretty well. All right. Ooh, see, Split City. And this is what this swatch looks like. I worked up another swatch with the Premier Home. I did notice when I'm working this swatch, the Dollar Tree yarn worked up a slightly smaller, not much smaller, but slightly smaller than the Premier Home. And look how gappy the uh, Dollar Tree yarn is. I don't exactly like it. I prefer their um, regular yarn. So let me take this back up and so give you my final review. 
Okay, after working with this yarn, I am not the happiest with it. As I can see, all these spaces come out so much space here. Sure, I can drop down a crochet hook size, but I already dropped down to a 4.5, and it recommends a 5 millimeter crochet hook. So, do I recommend this yarn? Yes, uh, it's only a dollar, and maybe you can use it for, I don't know, smaller projects, but the regular Premier Home yarn only costs a dollar ninety-nine. So, I would recommend just paying the extra 99 cents and using the Premier Home yarn instead of going to the Dollar Tree and getting this yarn. So on a scale of one to five balls of yarn, I'm going to give this Premier Just Cotton yarn two and a half balls of yarn. Number three. Next, we're going to look at another Crafter Square tool. This is called their Piercing and Scoring tool set. It comes in a pack of two, like so. It has two of these. You have a fine and a medium tip piercing tool, and it has little scraper ends at the bottom of it. Let me pull one to the side. You're probably wondering, Alicia, what exactly can I use this tool for? How does it relate to crochet? Well, if you're making crochet sandals or anything with a sole, you need to pierce through the sandals. But what I'm going to use it for when I make my crochet dishcloth to make my foundation so I can crochet up on it. Some people like to sew, but I prefer to do everything crochet. So I'm going to take it right back down to the mat again and show you how I use this in relation to crochet. All right, I'm going to place the edging for this uh, crochet dishcloth. Typically, people like to sew it edging along the side, but me, I prefer a nice row of single crochets. And to do that, I'm going to take my Dollar Tree hole puncher. I already got my holes marked off with a pen and poke a hole through. Typically, I would pre-make these holes, but just for this video, I'm just going to show you as I go. And I just stick my crochet hook through it and crochet. Simple as that. I'll show you one more time. Like I said, I would pre-make these holes in advance any other time. Take my crochet hook, stick it through, and do my row of single crochet. So let me take this back up to the table, table and give you my final review. Look at the edge on this dishcloth. I will take crochet edging over sewing edging any day. I just like to look a bit better. So you guys are probably wondering what review I'm gonna give these piercing tools. I absolutely love them for a dollar and you get a pack of two of them, they're great. So on a scale of one to five balls of yarn, I'm gonna give these little piercing tools five balls of yarn. Definitely go out and get that. I'll leave all the links down below to uh, the Dollar Tree website so you can purchase them yourself. So if you enjoyed this review video, make sure you check out all of my other review videos over here and I'll check you all on the very next one. Bye guys.